this question, we have to write any two differences between physics option and chemist option. Physics option and chemist option are two types of adsorption processes where the molecules are adhering to the surface but they differ in their mechanism and characteristics. In physics option, it involves the weak van der Waals forces or London dispersion forces between the adsorbate and the surface. And in terms of bonding, we can say they are physical non-covalent interactions means they are relatively weak and there is a low heat of adsorption and it is less than 40 kilojoule per mole. In terms of reversibility, we can say they are generally reversible and adsorbate can be easily removed with changes in temperature or pressure. This is a temperature dependent process. It favored at lower temperature, whereas in case of chemisorption, it involves stronger chemical bonds such as covalent or ionic bonds. The bonding is chemical bonding. It involves the formation of bonds between the adsorbate and the surface. And in terms of heat of adsorption, here it is high, typically more than 80 kilojoule per mole. In terms of reversibility, we can say they are less reversible means the breaking chemical bonds requires significant energy and the temperature dependence is they are favored at higher temperature. These are the differences between physics option and chemist option. We need to write any two to achieve two marks. In our question, we have to define the given terms with suitable example. The first one is associated colloid. Associated colloid also known as association colloid or micellar system. They are type of colloidal system where surfactant molecules agree to produce structures called micelles. The surfactant molecules arrange themselves in such a way that their hydrophobic tails form the interior of the micelle away from water while the hydrophilic head face outward towards the water. This will form a spherical structure. And the next one is oil in water emulsion. Oil in water emulsion is a type of colloidal dispersion where oil droplets are dispersed throughout a continuous water phase. The oil droplets are the dispersed phase. It means they are the small particles suspended in the continuous phase. Water is the continuous phase meaning it forms the bulk of the emulsion. These emulsifiers or surfactants are used to stabilize the emulsion by reducing the surface tension between oil and water phases. For example, we can say lecithin, sodium steroid lactylate and polysorbates. The surfactants have hydrophilic and hydrophobic parts. They arrange themselves at the oil-water interface, preventing the oil droplets from grouping. So here, for the definition of associative colloids, you will get one mark. And for defining oil in water emulsion, you will get another one mark. So the total marks will be two.